All right, it's Saturday morning. I got that piece welded in, and I ground the nuts off the other broken piece and uh, put them in there just to make sure the bolt holes are lined up. This is what's left of it. And I laid that on top of there, make sure the thing was spaced correctly. And it is, and now I'm gonna weld those nuts to the piece of metal so I won't have to be Stretch Armstrong and weasel my arms through there and hold a wrench on the backside. The missus is over here taking the old grill off some pieces and getting ready to put the chrome one on. And I'm over here determined where I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut it right here along the top side of the masking tape. And then back down through there. And then I'll cut that piece out of the new piece. Alright, we got that piece pretty well trimmed in. There's a brace here for that door pocket. I spot welded that in there. And now I'm working on welding it across there. And welding it here. I got a little gap there we'll have to fix. And this doesn't line up too good. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should have just built the pieces out of some sheet metal. Might have been might have been quicker. And what? And cheaper. We got the inner portion all welded in. It's kind of dusty in there because I've been grinding. But, uh, that part's ready and now we're getting ready to put on the outer skin. Incidentally, I did wear brush that and put some uh, rust treatment on it. Kind of fuzzy rust in there. But it's made it a good long while until it got that bad. I believe it'll go some more. Now, I'm going to flange this part here. I'm going to MIG weld this outside part because gas welding it warps and you got to hammer it. And there's no way for me to get my arm in there. So what I'm going to do is find a tool I laid down somewhere. Alright, I found it. Here's the tool. Put that in there like so. And it runs off of air. And you just pull the trigger and it puts a little flange on there. It does a couple things. It makes this a little bit rigid where uh, it's a little less apt to warp. And it makes it flush, so you just need to skim a bondo when you're done. Uh, before I do that, though, I need to straighten out this dent here a little bit. Uh, I'll show you how this flanger deal works. I use the whole punch side. Push up the edge. And pull the trigger. What could be easier? All right. Check that out. 
using two by fours in my body work. But the reason for that is when I cut the metal the first time, it kind of bowed in. Looks like this door has been hitting the side slightly. So what I, my goal is to raise this door up where it's supposed to be so when I weld it, I have a better chance of being where it's supposed to be. But welding does funny things to sheet metal. We'll uh, see how she goes here. All right, that seemed to help out. I've got everything lined up. I've checked uh, from my measurements I laid out before. The bottom of the door is where it should be. Everything uh, looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and tack it in place. Got it partially tacked on there. But over here we got a little bit of a gap. So what I did is took a piece of scrap steel and tacked it. And if you just push down on it, that'll pop that metal on up a little bit. Probably is I need about four hands. God only gave me two. All right, welded it in just a little bit at a time. The thing to remember here is don't get in a hurry. You don't want to get this sheet metal too hot. If you can't, you lay your head down and take a nap. It's too hot. Best thing to do is bring your wife out and have her talk your ear off so you can't don't have much time to weld. Otherwise, you'll be tempted to get in a big hurry and weld it up and warp the door all up. 